got your aluminum top off your truck, it's sitting on the ground, you're ready to roll it, maybe you want to turn it, you want to turn the aluminum top, pull on the top third flap, pin it on the bottom flange, turn it to where the direction you wish to go, let it go, always roll your aluminum top from the forward side, so it doesn't just run away from you. When you get to the location you want to put it, stop it with the stove down, or chop it, take the upper edge, pull on it, and we'll go down to the ground, and that's the head top, and lower it down. Once you've got the tub in the position you need, it's now time to take the cross bracing off. A number two Phillips screwdriver, undo the cross braces. Held in four locations, the end of the cross braces. And what is the cross bracing for? So we can put the tub down tight on a truck or trailer and not have to do damage to the edge. Remove the cross bracing and discard. You'll no longer use it unless you plan on moving it up later. Take the Reflectix foam supplied with the cup. Remove the material that holds it. Roll this, roll, have an assistant hold one end of it. Roll it around the tub. In the sun. When you get to the end, the tools needed to assemble a hot tub is a 20 foot length of rope, a blade screwdriver, a number two Robertson screwdriver, a 7 16 wrench. In the bag that's included with it will come three machine screws and nuts and a roll of straps. From this point on, we take our 20 foot piece of rope, put a loop in one end, walk it around the tub. and tie it back to itself so it's nice and snug in about the middle snug it up tie a knot granny or otherwise granny knots are great put it on and then we start to slip the wood in so we take our wood like that and continue to do so there is there is a half piece of wood included with it but if you have a size differential at the end, you can use the half piece of wood to, to make it work. Now you're unpackaging the bands? The bands, and we roll them around the tub. Careful, because they, they can be sharp. Right there, Eric. We're only going to put the one middle one on. Let me roll it. And then put the bolt on, snug the bolt up, and you, you can use a tape measure to measure to the center of the strap to make sure it's equal distance from the top or bottom, and then repeat the process with the top and bottom strap, setting it at the height from the top or bottom that appeals to you. Okay? There we go. The stove lid sits over top of the hole and the draft is controlled by the lid down there. You can slow the fire down, but obviously if it's, if it's already over temperature, it's not going to slow down. The chimney's fitted into the hole and wiggled down tight and sits like that. So if you wanted to connect a drain system to it, that's usually where we would put it, although it can go in other places. The foam that floats on the surface of the water comes buried inside the tub and would sit inside on the water and floats on the water after you've filled it. It does a great job of keeping the heat in. The tub takes three to five hours to heat depending on whether it's summer or winter. Uh, with dry wood it's not a problem at all. The water in the tub can be left untreated for about five or six days. At that point you want to be adding a sanitizer like bromine to the water. You can also use salt water straight out of the ocean or mix your own salt water and there are other various ways of treating water to keep it sanitary.